And I'd like to introduce our next speaker. Our next speaker is uh, <laughs> Dr. Ert. He is representing the Fraunhofer Society. More specifically, he is here from Singapore, where he is the Deputy Director of Fraunhofer IDM at NTU. Yeah, thank you very much and good morning. Yeah, um, I just want to give you a brief overview of the Fraunhofer Society and what we can offer in terms of uh, research, collaborations and uh, career opportunities. We are not like a funding agency in that, uh, uh, for that matter, but we are Europe's largest organization for applied research. Um, since we have quite a special um, place in the German research landscape, let me uh, give you some background information. So what is Fraunhofer? Um, goes back to this gentleman here, Josef von Fraunhofer, who had yeah, 200 years ago quite a remarkable um, quite a remarkable life. So he was a very successful scientist yeah, discovering what is now called the Fraunhofer lines in the solar spectrum. Um, but more importantly, he was able to use his profound scientific knowledge to come up with new ideas, yeah, new inventions. After all, he was an optician and he used his knowledge to design new lenses um, and new products. And this made him also a very successful businessman. So, yeah, Fraunhofer became the name patron of the Fraunhofer Society, which itself was founded after the Second World War in Germany with the clear mission to boost innovations from basic research uh, from, the in, uh, yeah, from the universities to the industry, yeah, so that the German economy after the war could uh, gain momentum and um, get back on track again. And this model became so successful that uh, starting with such a, uh, only a few institutes, over the years we are now 88 institutions and um, uh, institutes worldwide. And yeah, so this is in a nutshell really what um, Fraunhofer is about, what you can see here. We are also doing a little bit of basic research, but uh, we are going all the way up to, let's say, TRL 7. You can see some of the institutions, institutes in Germany. We have 67 institutes here, 88 worldwide, over 20,000 uh, employees. And um, what is important here, what you can see, the institutes are spread out over all Germany. And we have an annual transfer of, um, yeah, what you can see here, of 8% of our staff yearly, which is going to the industry, yeah, which is quite a, a large number. And this also underlines our model, which is, um, which includes our development. So really we offer, like in all stages of the career, um, for undergraduates, yeah, for graduates, doing the PhD, for postdocs, but also um, at a later stage, uh, we are offering opportunities. And usually, then the people who are with us for some years, they gain knowledge, some new skills, yeah, um, getting close ties to the industry, and then leaving uh, for the industry where they, in turn, become collaboration uh, partners. So, um, yeah, I talked about um, the different institutes. So you have to think um, of Fraunhofer like each institute usually has uh, its own topic, like biotechnology, uh, ceramics, computer graphics, cybersecurity, um, and so on and so forth. We are not doing social sciences, but other than that, chances are quite high that you will find an institute which is doing your, um, your area of research. So you can see some of our lighthouse projects, so really from, from energy up to advanced manufacturing, we are uh, covering a lot of different topics. Usually the different institutes are grouped along um, areas like ICT, life sciences and so forth. And then there are also vertical alliances um, which cover certain key topics like energy. 
Yeah, Fraunhofer is known for its inventions. For example, most famously, uh, of course, invention of the MP3 music standard at that time. But really, along the along the line, we have um, a lot of innovative products um, and yeah, innovations that um, were adopted by the industry quite successfully. Interesting also here in that regard is our funding funding model, which is threefold. Yeah, so um, if you compare us to other German research institutes, um, we have around only one third of our funding comes from um, from the government, and the rest comes from competitive funding and from the industry. And this again aligns um, like um, our mission. So worldwide, um, of course, the majority of institutes is in Germany. But if you are looking for opportunities in Europe or even worldwide, yeah, um, I'm, for example, from Singapore, there are definitely opportunities. Yeah. So just to give you some details, yeah. so in Germany, we are usually ranked quite high in terms of um, um, yeah, um, employee satisfaction, also long uh, not only for the scientists, but also like uh, in other fields like engineers, where of course all the big car manufacturers are, and computer science, where Google and Microsoft are, and so forth. Okay, career paths. So maybe this is um, one of the key slides here. You usually have this, um, what you can see here, different career paths. Yeah, so classical university career path. Yeah, um, after your. Uh, after you graduate, you stay with the university and uh, eventually you can, uh, become a professor. Then you have the Fraunhofer world and the industry. And there's really um, different, uh, yeah, during this um, continuum you can uh, come to us, yeah, or there's an exchange of people. So usually people, some of our staff are beginning as part-time scientific assistant during their study and doing their master thesis with us. And of course, people leaving after that to industry or staying after their graduation with, uh, with university. But you can also do your PhD thesis with us. Um, we are not like, so if you're working for Fraunhofer, you're not like paid for doing your PhD, but each Fraunhofer Institute is closely coupled to a university. So that means usually if your project work is aligned with your PhD topic, which should be the case, then you can graduate um, or get your PhD um, thesis or your PhD title after, let's say, five years. And after that, there are always opportunities, of course, to, um, yeah, to go back to university or to the industry. Um, also important, Fraunhofer supports spin-offs a lot, yeah, so usually when people are with us uh, and are very successful with the PhD thesis, then there are opportunities um, where they can found their own spin-off, supported by Fraunhofer, um, to bring this technology to the market. And there, then there are other programs within Fraunhofer, like Fraunhofer Attract, where you can build up your own um, research group, own, uh, own independent research group, and then later on, um, also other opportunities um, if you go more to the senior management of Fraunhofer. Okay, yeah, maybe um, also important is that actually Fraunhofer is very decentralized. So each institute basically is very independent. So this is also why there's not like um, one portal or something like that. Um, which can guide you through um, to all the institutes. Of course, there is one web page, uh, one front of a uh, web page, which also has like um, a global job market, but it's always better to go directly to the, well, let's say always better, but um, um, it's good if you can go directly to the institutes, know people there, and um, directly talk with them. Um, yeah, so. In Singapore, we are focusing on visual computing. I also want to show this um, um, briefly because we also have some uh, some programs, yeah, PhD programs, and maybe um, yeah, maybe we can show the video instead of showing some slides.
So visual computing basically means um, yeah, everything that has to do with computer graphics, image processing, also human-computer interaction is something that we are doing. And if the video does not work, then we can also show some slides instead. Okay. Yeah, so briefly, this is what we are doing. We are covering this whole continuum from reality to virtual reality, yeah, augmented reality, augmented virtuality, completely virtual worlds. And um, then you can apply this technology to all kinds of um, vertical sectors. Yeah, so this is what you can see uh, on top. So be it healthcare, education, um, maritime, aviation, yeah, everywhere where you need visualization or image processing or human computer interaction, we can actually provide some um, added value. So, just some of our examples um, we've done together with the German embassy, like um, yeah, touch based frameworks, education here yeah, in the field of medical, yeah, with augmented reality group-based learning, also uh, human brain interfaces, cognitive human-computer interaction, where you can measure brain signals and interpret the signals. And um, yeah, here we also have a lot of different projects, designing future car cockpits or assessing pilots, um, uh, drivers, um, air traffic controllers, and so on. So most importantly, we have established joint PhD programs between Singapore and one university, TU Graz in Austria and TU Darmstadt in Germany. And um, we have intakes in August and in January for this program. And this works on um, both sides. You, so you can either be based in Singapore and then go for one year of your studies to uh, one of the partner universities or the other way around. And this is full scholarship. Um, and if you want to apply for that, then keep in mind that you need around uh, four to six months um, to prepare all the, um, all the documents. Um, yeah, but it's quite a prestigious um, program and you will also get like, uh, like a double degree here. Yeah, in a nutshell, this was... Um, some basic info about Fraunhofer. If you have any questions, please uh, uh, feel free to ask. Other than that, um, I'm also around the day, and uh, please approach me if, uh, if you have any other questions. Thank you. Thank you so much, Marius. Any questions? No, if there's no immediate questions, then I think a warm round of applause. Thank you so much. And of course, Marius is available throughout the day for you to approach him bilaterally if you want. <laughs>